Hello, this is Manny with m and &E Product Support here at Autodesk. Uh, let me create a sphere and basically I want to show you the Blend Shape Editor. I really find it's a good, good major improvement. Kind of reminds me of the Blend Shape Editor inside Softimage uh, with even more, some more implementations. I, I really like it. Um, just got a polysphere that I will just uh, make a... I'll, I, I just um, use the R shortcut to make it a bit bigger and uh, just use the three shortcut to add subdivision surface and uh, let me just place that on my camera a little bit higher like that okay uh, so really all you need to do to call the blend shape editor is go to your sculpting tools and call on this tool here which is the uh, blend shape weights editor I guess and uh, yeah then you hit edit create blend shape now if that doesn't work just recreate the uh, reselect the element and edit create blend shape there we go and all you need to do at this point is click on add new target good as we can see there's no change there uh, we're basically dealing with this new target so be absolutely certain that you do click on edit if you don't click on edit just like in soft image you will screw up your base mesh and you don't want to do that <laughs> and that's happened to me and many many other people many times so be careful so hit edit and um, yeah at this point let's look at the uh, sculpting tools here uh, this is the main basically the main sculpting tool uh, for sculpting and um, with B you can modify the radius and basically this is motion builder uh, sorry uh, mud box inside Maya which is amazing you don't have to transfer your target meshes to uh, mud box and back to Maya you can do all your work here uh, really uh, and have your stamps and fall offs and all those stuff too that's all there for you to discover if you haven't used mud box then you'll you'll really get uh, to know it inside Maya so um, with the M shortcut that's for the pressure the B is for the size of the uh, the sculpting tool there the, the brush and uh, just go ahead and uh, there we go um, right and uh, yeah once you're done uh, hit edit and there we go we can see the uh, new target uh, mesh that's been created there uh, let's create a new one all you need to do is add new target and uh, at this point hit edit and uh, let's add some detail on over uh, notice that I also have my steady stroke on and that kind of makes the stroke very linear uh, as such so uh, once you're done just make sure that you hit edit again and uh, check check this one that we just created excellent and here's what's uh, really neat uh, that you didn't have the ability to do inside soft image you can recreate the mesh as such as we're used to doing inside Maya and just place it uh, uh, on the side if you want and just um, play with this mesh uh, let me just uh, shape uh, or use the grab here or something and make the radius a lot bigger and just make it look like uh, as such uh, there we go and um, that's it uh, once you're done you can simply um, right click at exit sculpting on this one you can delete it that way uh, the scene won't be forced to show that uh, to uh, actually save that mesh uh, with the scene file and um, yeah that's it that uh, works perfectly and that'll be it thank you